Welcome back to Rimworld, everyone. So I kind of wanted to discuss something here for today. I've, I've been already playing about 30 minutes, and you can kind of see how well that's gone. And I've sort of come to the conclusion that we're in a bit of a weird pattern right now, where we are basically spending all the time every episode rebuilding, defending, getting a tiny little bit of progress, and then repeating that over and over. And it's sort of become a pattern now where we're sort of stuck. We are genuinely stuck at this stage of the game. Um, so the, the, the issue sort of stems from the fact that we've got a lot of zombies on the map. Now, the special zombies are the ones obviously doing the damage. The regular zombies aren't doing anything to really affect us because we've got this kind of cool little zombie fortress going on right now. But we're spending a lot of time rebuilding, right? So if we go near the walls, the regular zombies aggro smash down the doors. What's the response to that? Well, we could completely lock the base down, but then they wouldn't be able to touch us at all because we'd be within, you know, the walls fairly safely there. Plus caravans, traders, whatever else would just get killed immediately. It also would make raiders very, very difficult to capture and recruit because they'd just be devoured outside the walls. And, you know, we'd be really susceptible to mortars and things like that as well. But the, pro the real problem comes from the fact that we've got tank zombies and things. Speaking of devil, there's one now. Smashing down the walls. There was an explosion here that knocked out some walls. We've got walls on fire over here. I'm spending way more time rebuilding things than we are actually making any progress. So I think... I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you think might be good for balancing... I'm actually looking to go back maybe to the drawing board completely, you know, reassess the scenario from the ground level. Maybe flip it on its head. So instead of having a thousand okay zombies that are constantly posing this little bit of a threat, you know, knocking down a wall here, knocking down a wall here, rushing in. I'm kind of thinking we flip it completely and have it so that there's a handful of zombies, but infection chances at like 100%. And zombie attacks are obviously a lot more lethal things. These are big groups that we need to control. Not all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, combat extended is also driving me fucking nuts. Mainly because the inventory management system. Like, I really like the combat stuff. But when you, you know, you have to set up a, an assignment per gun, that's a real pain in the ass. When you have to juggle this much ammo, that's a pain in the ass as well. So I'm kind of tempted to also remove that. There's, there's a lot I want to reassess now, knowing what we, what sort of scenario we've got set up here. The zombies aren't a threat, unless we've got the special zombies, but the special zombies are also a pain in the ass because they constantly keep the walls knocked down. Don't get me wrong, that's exactly what you would intend them to do. That's exactly why they're here, to add to the challenge. But for us, it's making the scenario very difficult to balance, because we've already got a difficult scenario off the get-go, right? So, I'm probably going to go back to the drawing board. Let me, go, let, me, let me know what you think of... Completely revamping things, or maybe even starting again, knowing what we know now and going for a fresh start where we have to escape the planet. Like you said, planet killer weapon, I've got something in mind for that. But for this scenario, I might want to call it. And you've also got to bear in mind, speed 4, this is speed 4. Um, <laughs> it, I think it's actually slower than base game speed 1. Probably something to do with the fact that we've got so many zombies on the map. So I, I'm actually kind of changed my mind a little bit, whereby... Infection rate probably should be 100%. If you're bitten, you are fucked. But you don't want to go near them. You want to avoid them because they do a lot of damage or make the zombies really something worth fearing. Because right now, we've got them fairly well controlled. We've only got to worry about the tank zombies and the explosive zombies. And that's basically it. So I kind of want them to be a threat again. I kind of want to feel like we're actually trapped in this base fighting for survival rather than just having a lovely farming adventure with, you know, the occasional wall repairing going on. So these are the default zombie land settings. They're not the zombie land settings that we currently have enabled. When do the zombies appear? I'm thinking we go for, right now we're sort of playing a more traditional Dawn of the Dead, kind of Resident Evil, kind of Shaun of the Dead style zombie, which is very slow, very stupid, very easy to kill. I'm, well, it's not really Resident Evil, is it? But you sort of get my point. That They're very easy to avoid. They're not super threatening, but are just kind of scary. Now, I'm thinking the opposite effect. Maybe they appear all the time. Maybe they come from... I like the map edges. I, d I don't like the idea of the zombies coming out of the floor. That That's very sort of... Um, that's very Dawn of the Dead, right? I do like the idea of them walking in, just wandering around. Attacking all creatures again. I do like these. And this is what I'm sort of thinking for next series, which is a bit of testing for the time being. And you guys can give me some feedback depending on what you'd like to see. If you've got any mods as well, just in case we do start a new series, any mods you want to throw at me as well. I mean, I do like the idea of only attacking doors, because attacking everything that's built could get very, very difficult con to control. It'd basically be this that we've got going on right now, but all the time, and that would be a real pain in the ass to be constantly rebuilding everything. I mean, even setting the zombies to destroy nothing, but I do like the doors, and I'm going to untick that so they will always attack the doors. Could could work quite well, quite well as well. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort of keep an eye on that one. Zombie senses. Zombies are very sensitive and can sense you in your trails over many cells. I like the idea of the 28 weeks later rage zombie, personally. Very fast, very angry, super high infection. 
But in lo in small groups, very easy to contain because, you know, they are just essentially people at the end of the day. A bullet will put them down. I do like that idea. So maybe have the zombies easy to kill. I forget what that is. So it's down here. Zombies recover from injuries, but zombies are easy to kill. That way, if we only hit it with a shovel once, you know, you might need to hit it with a shovel tw two or three times to actually kill it. But they will recover eventually. I think that's a good idea. Whereas using high, you know, high velocity, high power ammo against a zombie would kill it. I like this plan. Zombie range group gets too large. That's also pretty good. Zombies will eat everything. I think that's fine. And then maybe just set it so we've only got things like regular zombies. That might be cool. Or maybe even big groups of... Maybe like big groups of toxic splashes zombies as well. And then the occasional like tanky zombie or 1% tanky zombie. 1% like trans zombies. But that, that doesn't really matter too much. The point is I just want to completely flip this on the map. So we would have never more than... Even a hundred zombies. That would already be super, super threatening. Then we can control the damage. Zombie speed if they're calm. What about they're just the same speed as a regular person? And then when they're ragey, they run twice as fast. Like they are fucking sprinting after you. This, I think, might be a lot more... A lot more scary and something really, really to fear. Zombie strength. That's not much stronger than a regular person. Garrett ton... I mean, at this point, we wouldn't really need to affect the turrets too much either. I, w I like that being at 100%. I think that could be very, very cool. If your guy is bitten, if you're not sufficiently armored, sufficiently protected, if you get bitten, that's it for you. How many zombie franchises do you know where, it, you know, if a zombie bite is treated, okay, you might not die. But I like the idea of it being, you know, this is an end of the world scenario whereby a zombie bite would really, really kind of kill you dead, huh? That would be kind of nice. And then we'd have to, we'd have to quarantine people, we'd have to euthanize people, take them around back and shoot them if they're bitten. Be a lot more tragedy involved. I, d I do think this could be kind of a cool idea. I like this plan. Um, we'll test this out. We'll see how this runs. I, I think this could be a lot nicer just to see how this goes for the timing. I'm going to set this to no more than 100. 100? Because bear in mind, all these zombies that are on the map right now are going to be affected by this. I imagine there's an automatic cull or something like that. But that could be... This could be something very, very different that might be more of a threat going forwards. So Travis was actually bitten here, and he's immediately gotten then, because we've, we've obviously up the infection risk, he's gotten zombie bites. 15.6 hours until infection. Does that mean that he's definitely doomed it's not like a disease where you have to you know it's not like if they get the plague or the flu or whatever and it will you have to beat the infection um i think he's just genuinely screwed here i'm not entirely sure we'll wait and see how this plays out because there is a number ticking down there i don't exactly know what it means um yeah 13.7 i think it is a guarantee isn't it this could be oh god yeah both zombie bites have flipped over to full-blown infection land now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with travis trash I'm sorry, my friend. The zombie bites have healed, but the infection is spreading. Okay. We're going to have to take him around back and shoot him. I'm sorry, my guy. Um, we'll, we'll make sure you have a nice coffin. Should we get him to build his own coffin? That's nice and macabre. What have we got? Um, misc, please, coffin for my good friend Travis Trash. Easy come, easy go. Let's go for um, a lovely... What have we got? we got loads of marble, right? A lovely marble coffin. I mean, you can't, you can't complain about that at all. Um, prioritize delivering it. That's it. Literally digging his own grave here. Um, well, not, not really. Sort of metaphorically digging his own grave to some extent. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Travis Trash. What was that noise? Did you hear that? I have no clue. Oh, we got bulk goods trader turned up as well. My friends, you have seriously come to the wrong map. These zombies are very strong now. Look at that. Two zombies. Is that two zombies there that they fought? Immediately, both of them have been bitten. So we know these guys are screwed right now. You need to be a bit more careful. You guys need to be so much more careful. So does that mean that? Yeah, I guess it would mean that they're guaranteed to turn into zombies now. So in theory, we'll never see Katsumi and... Who's it? Cord again. That's kind of cool. It also means that we have to pick and choose between raiders as well. You know, we can't take people who are bitten. And it might also allow us to prioritize certain people. If we get big raids turn up, oh god, we've got to defend this raider from the zombies because if he gets bitten, we can't recruit him, essentially. All right, how's, uh, how's Travis Trash doing? Should we see what happens if he gets infected? We need a quarantine room. In fact, we basically got a quarantine room right here. Travis. Travis, you're in quarantine. You're in quarantine until further notice. By which I mean, we're gonna lock him in there. We're gonna keep him as our pet, Sean of the Dead style. Welcome, Travis. We're gonna, we're gonna just forbid that door. I feel like we should also block it up. Where's my boy Rex Buckley? We need to put a block in front of this door. This is war crimes. Now this is true war crimes. Um, let's go and get that built as well. We might still need that coffin, so don't, don't, don't count on that. Uh, now I don't know if I'm gonna leave in the bit where I talked about combat extended. If not. I will talk about that again, because uh, I didn't really enunciate it very well. Uh, but basically, Combat Extended is being a real pain in the ass. Like, we've had guns that have literally just disappeared off the face of the map. No idea where they've gone. I can't track them down. I can only assume they've despawned somehow. Uh, 
I've really no clue. And it's not even like, you know, with, with this one, I kind of am expecting it to just break anytime soon. It was a, it was a fully... I, I checked the footage back. One of the guns, I forget which one it is, is just gone. We've lost some other weapons as well. Don't... They're not set to smelting. It was a full-blown gun and ranged weapons are not allowed to be smelted. Besides, like, muskets and flintlocks. I was very specific about that. So there's no reason it would have gone, but it has just straight up disappeared. Which now means I have to redo all of our assignment tabs again. All of our loadouts. Everything I sent them to go. Travis Trash, get rid of that right now. Um, what was he supposed to be? I have no clue. Um, but yeah, we, we've lost a bunch of stuff here, and it's a real pain in the ass, because that means I have to sit here and set up every single loadout again. I think I'm going to remove combat extended. I like the ballistics. I like the way the mod works. I hate the loadout system. It drives me absolutely insane. If there was, like, combat extended light, where they just had the ballistic system, the ammo, and the guns, and then it worked like regular remote, you just right-click a weapon, equip it, and they'll keep it, that would be so much cooler. If there's a mod for that, please, for the love of God, let me know, because I really love, like I said, the ballistic system, I think, is awesome. The explosions, the effects, whatever. But the, the, the loadout system actually genuinely does raise my blood pressure every single time we play remod, and I feel like within a week, I'm going to be dead. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be long for this world if we keep playing with this so i do need to remove that if we do do another playthrough of this you know even if we start this now or even if we want to carry on with this one stripping that out is my top priority here so how's travis trash doing how are you doing my friend why am i looking in gear we've got 5.9 hours until we see what happens to our lovely friend who's stuck in quarantine i mean what can we do we're gonna have to just chuck a grenade in through the vent or something just roll one through there and, and blow the poor boy up and then bury him i can't believe this it's a, it's a nice little experiment, though, to actually see what's happened. Siege? No. Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> and there's me saying that we're not quite ready for... Uh, we're not quite ready for people because I haven't set up any of the loadouts. Combat extended. I might see if I can remove it now very quickly. I don't know if the game would like that, but I'm going to give it a go. Ooh, we recruited green, which is very, very good, because this guy's about the only guy with, with with good crafting skill right now. So we could take Rex Buckley off of crafting, so he's already got a shit ton of stuff to do. Wow, that's good. I'm going to just put him at level one in, in everything to do with crafting, because we really don't have anyone else capable of doing that right now. Okay, that's some good stuff. One thing I'd love to do if we do restart the series and, and sort of go from the beginning again, you know, exploring the cities and whatever, is maybe making it so that... Oh, heatwave, hilarious. Maybe making it so that we don't lose our original three colonists so early on. That, I feel like that was definitely a big problem with this series, that we lost specifically the three characters designed to bring a little balance to the colony. Didn't have anyone good at intellectual. Still haven't got a research bench or multi-analyzers after all this friggin' time. It's kind of insane the amount... Like, how much... Not having a particular research can set you back from everything else. I mean, how long have we been playing right now? Um, where is it? We go to this one, and then we say we have been playing for 140 days, and we've barely scratched the surface of microelectronics. Incredible stuff. I mean, to be fair, we have been... Oh, God. Hello. Um, okay, a siege is good right there, but again... Combat extended removing it didn't work by the way just in case you're wondering um, so what weapons do we have that's capable of using this old fucking this old chestnut So we've got an assault rifle. I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that to uh, Rex Buckley then seeing as he was supposed to have an LMG and a hammer and that disappeared um, So let's go current loadout. Excuse me. Um, so green. Oh, that's the default one. Well, that's very annoying um, Okay, so you can have some really matter. Why is that the default? That's, that's really shit. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll quickly go slight loadout. What where, where is it? Yeah, where is it though? Axe, hammer, nothing, pickaxe. Yeah, where's the... What the fuck? Manage loadout, select loadout. Combat extended, you're killing me. You're, you're killing me, combat extended. Where is that? We can't even see it. Axe, hammer, nothing, pickaxe. I can't even assign... That's so odd. Okay then, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do a full reset. You know what, no, we don't need to do a full reset, these ones, do we? Um, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So let's go back, let's edit. We can't... It's gone, it's gone forever, so that doesn't matter too much. Okay, so this is gonna be... Damn it. Uh, this is going to be Rex Buckley. So, Rex Buckley, let's come back. <laughs> it's so broken. I love it. All right. Rex LMG Hammer. Nah. Um, can we... We can't even see it on the list. It's just called Loadout 1. This is cursed. This is supremely cursed. So, this is going to be Rex uh, Hammer Assault Rifle. Assault Rifle. Full. Right, okay, good. Any meal, any drugs. Take away the meal and the drugs. So I want them to actually eat the meals in the kitchen, because that's why they were so pissed off all the time last time. So armor-piercing rounds for that. We'll say take 
Honestly, we could do 10 times what it thinks we should have, to be honest with you. Um, and that seems like a lot of bullets. You know what? We're going to do... Just do that. We'll do five times. Um, assault rifle ammo is good. And then he also needs an hammer. An hammer. There we go. Okay, so that's Rex Buckley basically dealt with. Now we have to manually go and pick up the weapon rather than <laughs> doing it with the base game systems. No, no, no. We want you to have that hammer. So pick that up as well. There we go. All right, and then we need some ammo for the damn thing too. So we're looking for assault rifle. Oh, we got rifle ammo there. Is that all we've got? Ugh. Oh, wait, I thought we made a load. Hang on. Um... Heavy rifle ammo, machine gun ammo. Okay, we didn't actually make any rifle ammo. Hilarious. Right, let's get that picked up for the time being. Get yourself reloaded. Out of ammo. What the hell are you talking about? Assault rifle ammo. Oh my god, it doesn't use rifle ammo. And he's already got machine gun ammo for some strange reason. This is killing me. Right, so assault rifle ammo. Do we even have that? We've got rifle ammo. We've got... Um... <sighs> Your guess is as good as mine at this point, Chief. Machine gun ammo. Okay, so let's go for a machine gun instead then. But at which point I've got to set up a whole new loadout. Oh, Rimwald, you're going to kill me here. Um, we, could, we could give him this one. Heavy rifle ammo I know we definitely got because we specifically made a whole bunch of that, didn't we? Right, okay. We're changing, we're changing, we're changing bills a little bit here. So Rex Buckley, Rex Buckley assault rifle, wrong. We're going to change that to Scar. Get rid of that one. Okay. <laughs> this will work. I apologize, but this is what I'm going through every day. Um, right, so armor piercing rounds again. We'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll just do 100. 100 is enough. I think you get five times seems more than, more than sufficient here. Drop the assault rifle too. Make sure we get rid of that shit. There we go. Uh, whoop. The assault rifle gone. Okay. That should be a lot better. So let's go and pick that thing up, wherever it is. It's also a very powerful weapon for a man who's good at shooting, like incredibly good at shooting. So I feel like this is very appropriate. Pick up the steel hammer. He's dropped the other one, right? Drop that on the floor. Thank you. Get that. No. Wait. Oh, okay. My god, I thought they were attacking the raiders then. That would have saved our lives. How's Travis Trash doing? Are you, have you got, I've got all my... got my machine gun ammo. 140... Oh, that's a long time before it becomes a zombie. So how do we stop the infection? Do we just... Oh, because it's in his leg. I guess you hack it off. Right. I see. I should have just hacked it off then, huh? Maybe if we chop his leg off now, he stops being a zombie too. We should test this out, if we just in case we do restart the series. We should test this out now, so I don't have to pontificate later on. Um, operations, add bill, harvest left leg. Where is it? Leg, 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 leg. Amputate left leg. Get it gone. Get it gone. Go and lie down. Uh, right, right, right. Rest until healed. No, no roofs. No roofs on our buildings anymore. Why? Who knows? You tell me. Who's our best doctor? It was our good friend. Oh, God, I've renamed them all. Um, who was our best doctor? Where has he gone? Is it? Oh no, is Travis Trash the doctor? No? Oh my god. I shouldn't, I shouldn't really rename halfway through, I, I admit. Uh, Frank North. Frank North is pretty good. Rednax was the really good one, but I think he's... Uh, I think there must be something wrong with him. Uh, can it imitate like new materials? Because we've only got Glitter World Medicine, right? And he's not set to use Glitter World. Okay, how about now? This might save a man's life, so I'm happy to use the Glitter World Medicine. But this, I think, is exactly the time we do want to use the Glitter World Medicine. The result in the colony. That's not what I wanted to hear. I'm going to be frank, that's not what I wanted to hear. Right, go, my friend. What are they fighting? What are they, what are they fighting? Oh, zombies. Right, of course, the zombies are much more lethal, so they've probably done enough damage to get these guys all riled up. That's good. Um, we're going to stand here, Rex Buckley, aren't we? Uh, you're going to kill that zombie, and then these guys are going to steal what they can and leave. What are they going to steal? Wait, what? I mean, clearly they're not. We've been lied to here. I think Rex Buckley in his power armor with his very powerful rifle here with his armor-piercing bullets. Probably a bit of a one-man army. I think he could probably take these guys out. Disallowed with Area 1. <laughs> very good. It's another thing that also drives me mad about Rimod is the area system is sometimes a little strange. Let's like, say, for example, you, you mark this as Area 1. They will walk all the way around the map, all the way through loads of unforbidden land, or forbidden land, I should say, to come up here and build a single block of roof, which is another thing that really pissed me off as well. Not everything needs a roof, Rimod. Not everything needs a roof. Right, let's go. Okay, slowly, slowly and carefully, hide behind that wall, and then gun him down. I believe in you, Rex Buckley. Go. Uh, Rex Buckley, I said I believe in you. All right, here we go. Watch this shit. Boom. Nice work. Good shot. Right, that's basically him dealt with. Take him down as well. Re he's got to reload. That's giving you some time, Rex. Nice. Okay, uh, I think it's dangerous to burst fire against actual humans with weapons. Probably not a bad plan. He's been shot in the head as well. I think you can move on to the next one. Don't let that taser man get close. Rex, your shooting skills lead something to be desired, my friend. I I'm going to be honest with you. And now they're just standing there menacingly. Again, this is what I'm talking about. This is all forbidden. This is not area one. Don't fucking walk through it. I know that. I know how it works. I know how it works. Don't worry. But it is just very frustrating. Um, right. Ugh, fucking just open the doors then. What's the point? What's the point of me forbidding areas if they're just going to go for it anyway? Dead nice, Tino. At least go the other way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right, Rex. Let's deal with this guy with the taser. They all don't seem to really want to be here. To, so we could probably take this guy out while he's asleep. That's the nicest thing to do. Careful. 
Take it. Take it easy. There's another zombie there distracting him. Maybe now's the time I want to... Oh! Back off from that taser. Back off from that taser. That's it. Run. What's he, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What, what's he... What's he doing? Hello? Rex? You gonna move? Fuck. <laughs> Run, world. You are... And it's not, it's not Remold's fault, okay? I think we do need a series reboot, don't we? <laughs> oh, he's vomiting. He's vomiting. Silly me, of course. He's vomiting. He wasn't vomiting when I was trying to move him the first time, I'd like to point out. That's only since he's been tasered. It's only since he's been tasered. Rex, what the fuck? Honestly. Luckily, he's wearing that power armor, otherwise we'd be super... Luckily, they're doing a whole bunch of friendly fire, otherwise we would be super, super screwed right now. Good God. Right, just, just put the speed up. Just put the speed up. Right, move. Jeff, what are you doing? Does that look like Area 1 to you, Jeff? Jeff, does that look like Area 1 to you? Fuck it. Let him die. Let him die. I don't care anymore. Honestly, if you, they don't pay any fucking attention to me anyway. Where's he trying to go with those blocks? Because this is... Where is he trying... Sorry, he's... <clears throat> he's doing that. Let him die. Let him die. You know what? This is Darwinism. Survival of the fittest. This is survival of the fittest right now. Again, this is why these doors were forbidden. A and NPCs don't give a shit. They'll find a way around. Got a hole in the wall? We are gone. We are out of there. Right, go and help him out. Go and help him out for the love of God. Go and beat that man over the head. There we go. Right, they're dealt with. We're dealt with. Green, stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense. I shouldn't have to... I remove one wall and they go nuts. It's like leaving the door open for my fucking dog. Front door's open. He's gone. You're never going to see that dog again. That's not true. I've, I've clearly seen him. But th this is exactly that scenario. They're like, oh, the door's open. Now's our chance. Let's fucking do it. Let's walk over to the other side of the map. You've got some bricks they need delivering. On the other side of this wall that's, by the way, in our base. Good. Good. Gain. Gain. This is what you deserve. Hey, remember when I said Area 1? Does it look like Area 1 to you guys? No, it does not. Death of Jeff. Death of Jeff. Good Good luck, Jeff. That's what you needed. Travis, how's it, how's it going? Oh. <gasps> Has that actually saved him? Does that work? Oh, okay. That's really, really, really good to know then. So in the future, when we play this mod again, when I, I think I'm after going to do a hard restart without combat extending because it's making me want to fucking cry. Well, um, we, that's something we know. That's something in the knowledge banks for the next playthrough to be able to balance things here. Uh, it's been completely eaten, so we don't have to worry about burying him because he's gone now. He's, he's completely devoured. I will admit, it is a lot better being able to play the game on a higher speed, you know, because last time we were playing it, speed speed 4 was not even speed 1 in the base game. Fewer zombies that are more lethal. That, I think, is the is the key to this, this playthrough. The elevated zombie senses, I think is the word that the, the mod maker used to describe it, they are really homing in on the base now, which is very, very nice. We've no longer got zombies, like, trapped in these corners or just wandering around. You know, especially over here, they would all cluster together. They've actually found their way to the base very, very quickly. And these guys have even found their way to the main entrance that our guys are coming in and out of. That's very nice. This could pose a much, much bigger threat, you know, a much bigger need for turrets, things like that. And I think if we do start again, some, some different research starting off with what might be necessary. Because um, right now, the only research we started with was tree planting or tree sowing or whatever. Meanwhile, we're still not even halfway to microelectronics and the planet killer is on its way as well. Again, like I've said, the planet killer is not going to be something that ends the game completely, but will add to the difficulty. But even then, we're not ready for that. Even now, we're still not ready for it. So you can probably tell, but I am more or less certain that I'm going to be rebooting the series at this point to give us a fresh start, give us a nicer look at... I, f I feel like just a lot of these mods are really being passed by. How I'm not really showcasing it very well, so I want to give it the chance it deserves... I like the idea of the lethal zombies that we're definitely going to go with. Still like the idea of, of sort of pushing us in the direction with the planet killer, but not guaranteeing the end of the campaign there. Because I know a lot of people, it will be very anticlimactic if we just don't manage to get off the planet and then we all die. It's, it's a little bit shitty because it is just a click of the fingers. It's like, you died. Okay. And that's it. So I want to I wanna add a difficulty that will be appearing after a set amount of time, but isn't going to completely end the campaign. So for the end of this one, you guys deserve something a bit explosive to end things. Something... Something pretty interesting, something that we haven't yet seen. How about we just see how many zombies we can spawn in and, and open up the colony doors and have a big old final showdown fight between a load of very mad zombies. I think if we destroy this wall here, open up these doors, line up and just see how many zombies can fly across the bridge at us. That could be very, very cool.
Well, if there was 100 hours in the day, this is the base I would have eventually ended up building, I think. I'll do a quick tour, and then I'll show you what we've got here for the end game for this particular colony. I've sorted out everybody's loadouts and everything as well. Travis Trash obviously can't move because we had to hack his goddamn leg off. Rednax is incapable of violence, so he has a gun but can't use it right now. So it's just down to our party here to try and solve the problems. We've got all that charge weapons. Unfortunately, it didn't end up being as good as I was hoping when we grabbed that in the early game because we've got no bullets for them. We've got that, but it's like for the charge shotgun, which is very destructive. I suppose it might be good to give someone that and then stick them maybe central on the bridge just to hold off the armies. That could work, I guess. Um, I'll do that in a second. But in the meantime, we have ourselves Zombie Fortress Supreme. Flammable, nice unflammable, I should say. Inflammable Slate Wars. No, inflammable means flammable, right? It doesn't matter. The Slate Wars are, are plenty. So the zombies cannot get in from any angle besides, there's been a bit of global warming as well, besides the main entrance, the main bridge here. So what I'm going to do is, is for this the, this end of the colony to give everyone a good send-off to see how we hold out here, we're going to spawn in a million two zombies in this area here. We're just going to let them rush us. We're going to let them rush us 28, 28 weeks later style at the end where they all run across the bridge to Paris. This is going to be, well, I guess to Calais, but you, you know what I'm getting at. This is going to be the end game right now. I'm Kind of interested in how long we'll be able to survive for. I'm not sure how much my PC can survive in terms of zombies. So I'll spawn them in in slow amounts. We'll probably aim for like 2,000 or so. See if we can hold out at that. And uh, this should be should be very interesting. Should be very interesting. Well, that's really sweet for the end game here. Frank North and Russell Coy are beginning their marriage ceremony. Wow, there it is. In the vomity, blood-filled kitchen. Having a nice little celebration before... The apocalypse, the true apocalypse. There's no planet killer, but my god, is it going to be a lot cooler when we actually get around to it. So I've, I've swapped the guns around a little bit. Tallahassee is going to get the charged shotgun because he's obviously one of the better shots there. I've arranged them in order of their shooting skill as well. So Green being one of the worst, New and and Russell being slightly better, and then obviously Rex and Tallahassee being the, our best of the best shooters there. So in theory, those guys are going to swap them out. Dead, nice Tino is going to get the light SMG. Tallahassee going to get that charged one instead. And then, oh, Redneck's been bitten, huh? What is that? Oh, crack zombie teeth. The zombie didn't quite kill him, but he did crack him. Okay, I see. Um, where's Rex? Let's get Rex to go and clear out the couple of zombies that have wandered in here. We want to make sure everybody's got the right sort of ammo. Out of ammo. Ah, oh, fuck. We haven't got any assault rifle ammo? Assault rifle. If we do, why is he not? Why is he not picked any up? Um, rifle ammo, rifle ammo, assault rifle ammo. I hate this as well, by the way. Rifle ammo, machine gun ammo. We got assault rifle ammo, heavy rifle ammo. How many different types of rifle ammo do we actually need right now? So what is it we're using? I think we're using assault rifle ammo, right? Pick up assault rifle ammo. Go get that. Let's kill out the zombies that have made our way inside the walls. Right, and then you can you can equip your gun again, my friend. Um, okay, there we go. Let's go and get this equipped. I would love there to be combat extended without uh, all of the loadout system. If there's a mod that changes that, set me in. Yep, right on cue. There we go. Brace yourself, everyone. Rednax, of course, no use at all besides maybe just a body bag. So we're going to stand him around. Oh, God. Let's turn the speed up. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the end game right now. Oh, God. The 1,700 zombies, my poor PC. Oh, it's going to catch fire. It's actually running okay. It's not doing a bad job. Oh, shit. Here we go. They've already opened fire. My god, Rex Buckley, look at this man, has already spotted them coming in from a mile away. It's no use, Rex. I'm going to see how long we can hold out. Should we time it? Um, so, it's currently the 10th of August. Remember that. At 9am. 10th at 9am is where the zombies started spawning in. Good luck, everyone. Oh god, here we go. Oh my god, look at them raise up. So, I don't know what numbers I set on it. I, I assume it was the numbers I talked about earlier in the episode of what we're going to be affected with right now. So, I'm not going to see... I don't think we'll see too many tank zombies, but we're going to see a lot of toxic splashes on these. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, wow. That's something, huh? 1,685 zombies are currently on screen. Well, not not on screen. It'll probably be about 1,400 here, roughly, I think. Might be about 1,600 now that I think about it. They are immediately flying into a rage. The question is, are they going to aggro and come over to the base? Are they even going to know we're here, or are they just going to wander around? I think we'll send Rednax over as bait. Rednax, go get their attention. Go get their attention, Rednax. Oh, my God. <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? This is insane. Maybe I should plan a slower speed. It'll be a bit smoother for you guys to watch, I think. Right, let's get Rednax over there. He said never. Look at how well it's running, though. Credit to the mod. I mean, look at this shit. This is incredible. So there's this many enemies packed into this tiny little area. What am I looking at? It's like when I run Theme Park World. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go on, Rednax. Go and, go and lure him over. Go and lure him over before my PC melts through the desk. Here we go. Look, dinner, dinner, they're still coming up out the ground, look at this. 
Dinner's here. Come on, team. That's it. Come on. Come and get yourself a nice snack. Now, in theory, because they have elevated senses, they should be able to detect his, his trail, right? So now we're going to... I'm trying to avoid this boy over here while still luring all the other ones over. Oh, no. Poor Rimord. If this doesn't crash, I will genuinely commend this. This needs to go on everybody's Steam favorites if, if this doesn't crash, because I can't think of anything else it deserves at this point. My god. They're, they're heading over. They're heading over. It's going to take them a while, I think, for the Pathfinder just to work out how the fuck they're supposed to get over there past all these other zombies. This is, uh... This is something. And you've got to remember, I didn't turn down the difficulty as well. These aren't still the easy-to-kill zombies we've been playing with the whole campaign. They're still difficult to kill. They still recover. They still have that speed going for them as well. I think the poor game just doesn't know how to quite handle it. Come on. Follow, follow Rednax. Oh, look at the rage. Look at the rage. It's just a sea of red. Holy shit. That's it. They're actually going for it now. They're heading over. I don't know if they're picking up any speed at all. They are agitated, which I believe... Uh, let's just take the, check the sentence very briefly. I believe the agitated zombies move at one... So, so one time speed. I, th I assume it's the regular speed of a regular Rimworld character. And then if they're excited, 1.6 times. So... Oh my god, they're peppering Rednax. No, no, no. He's not quite done for it yet. He's not quite done for Run, Rednax. Six hours. Six hours of combat it's been so far. What we're probably going to look at, they're down to 1,400 zombies. What we're going to be looking at is who breaks first. The morale of our people or the zombies or the ammo as well. Oh my god, she's getting close. Tallahassee. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh god, here comes the Rage Horde. Oh my god. Holy shit, they piled up fast. My god, okay, this is where it's going to get a little bit messy. These Toxic Splash Zombies have slowed down the whole horde so well. We do have the Rain Washes Away Filth mod, so hopefully this doesn't screw us, the fact that it's just started raining here. That would be a real problem. Okay, they are getting significantly close now. Reloading SMG. How are we holding out for ammo? That's the real question. Like, are our guys going to be able to... So he's got 200 bullets on him. 180, 210, 94 with Rex Buckley. Oh my god, only 40 left with the revolver as well. When Rex Buckley has to go back to reload, then we're really going to struggle. Because this guy's our crack shot. He's the one really mowing them down here. Oh god. They're also annihilating their own walls next to them as well. Here we go. Here comes the mass of the horde just piling on there. Holy shit, look at this. They're still heading over, too. You can clearly see a, a distinct movement from this area up towards the horde. Run, 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 run. Um, do we want to start retreating these guys back? Fall back. Fall back. P pull up a line here. Pull up a line here. Oh, God. They have really covered some fucking ground, huh? Oh, Russell. Russell, pull back. Oh, my God. Russell also doesn't have a weapon. Right, Russell. Tallahassee's here to cover them. So what we'll do, let's get Russell to go back and also get a melee weapon. I should have sent him out with a sidearm. I really should have sent him out with a sidearm. Go get that hammer. I mean, it's a hammer, so it's not fantastic, but it'll do. And then go and get the Crusader's Kite Shield as well. Death Vault and all that. Right, uh, let's get Tallahassee into the lineup. And then we'll, when Russell comes back, we'll put him in the lineup as well there. That way it gives them a bit of cover. They are they are going to kill us. They're going to wipe us all out. Um, Do we have enough gear to go for Burst Fire? I think we're going to have to switch over to Burst Fire. It's going to be close. Oh, shit, you haven't got enough ammo for this. Rex, how what are we looking at? Rex is going to stay on single fire because he's already a crack shot. So I, I'm, I'm trusting Rex Buckley to just deal some damage here. Come on, Burst Fire. Help me out a little bit. Russell, how are we looking? Russell's got nine melee, so he should be able to do a little bit of damage too. Come on, get that hammer, get that shield. A man after my own heart. Look at that setup. Right there, power armor, hammer, shield. It's Captain America. Get on these front lines. Here we go, here we go. Oh, God, yeah, actually put him there. That's probably a better idea. Shit, they are really closing in. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? We didn't stand a damn chance. Also, look at how fast it's running, huh? Look at how smooth this stuff is. I'm actually genuinely so impressed. Newt. Newt's been bitten. Newt, you're a fucking lost cause. That we've got no time for operations. Okay, what do we do now? Do we fall back into the house? I think, I think we need to start falling back into the house so people can start getting supplies. Fall back. Fall back. The outer wall's lost. Fall back. Don't let them in. We might have to give them the slip with the character. Oh, actually, you know what? We can make it in. You can make it. Hold that door. Hold that door. Hold the door. No, no, no. Get inside, you cowards. Everyone's getting a fresh load of weapons, which I'm very much liking here. It's very good to see. Everyone's getting reloaded. Fully stopped back up on ammo. Ready for the next showdown. So, I might have left the door open. Uh, you remember that door I left open for quick access so they could get in and out to the farms and whatnot? Uh, turns out... <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I might have left that open and now the zombies coming in. So Rex Buckley is going to go here and see if he can single-handedly close the door. Either that or we let the prisoners try and escape and let the prisoners draw them away. Which could also work. It could also work. 
Don't worry about shit in the prisons. What's he trying to do? Equipping a taser. Nah, not a big fan of that. I think we might have to put this prisoner down as well, unfortunately. Orange. Orange and Frog, you could run. You could leave right now and no one would ever stop you. It's not set to hold open, so if Frog can make it out of there. Right, that's it. T take, take, down, take down the zombie. I'm just going to go fully auto. This is a life or death situation. Open fire. No, just open fire. I don't care. Cut through Frog. I don't give a shit. Cut her down. Take her out. That's it. Take them all down. Um, we seem to have, a, now we've got an escape prisoner going for a taser. Newt, could you do me a favor? And that is a big favor. And, and what that is, is killing this prisoner dead. Kill him, kill him now. Shoot him now. Shoot him better. Shoot him faster. Okay. Come on, come on. Why is the door not shutting? It's because they're still passing through, I assume. Oh, God. Um, well, we've got a choke point for what it's worth. Don't know if that's something particularly good, though, to be honest with you. Um, okay, everyone, everyone else just wake up now. Everyone else wake up. Let's get, let's get lined up here. Shit. This is not where I wanted to be. This is not where I wanted to be. We've got a zombie coming out of the prison? How did you get in there? I have no clue. Make sure Tallahassee is up here, out of the way, so that he's not going to end up shooting our other people. And we are just going to sit here and hold out. Maybe, if we can kill enough fast enough, the door will close, or they'll just end up killing this cooler, and then they'll just pile in. That's, that's more likely, let's be honest. Let's also get Newt into position. Where's the other guy? Oh, they're both over here. Right, cool. Right, let's get you two together. Just come stand nearby. We might actually genuinely be able to hold them off here. There is a possibility. Oh my god, he's got a Crusader shield and a revolver. That's kind of cool. That's a cool look for you. I appreciate that. Right, get him here. Rex Bucket is now out of ammo, I assume. He is out of ammo. Rex, can you go get some more? Can you go use the toilet? Fine. Use the toilet. Go get some ammo. Probably shit himself. Let's be reasonable. I think anybody would be in this situation. That's, that's very reasonable. Right, Tallahassee, come around the corner here. Stop vomiting. Tallahassee, please. This is literally a life or death situation. Are we on full auto? We need to be on burst fire, but maybe not full auto to some extent. Right, that's, that's, that's acceptable. Thank you. Okay. Are we going to be able to hold them all off? Maybe not. But we can lure them away from this door and book it out of that door and maybe just run out of the level. And pack a caravan and just piss off. That might be my idea. That might be what we have to do right now. Um, Rednax, what the hell are you doing? Newt. Newt has imminent zombie infection. Oh, God. So we'd have to cut off his arm. Um... Maybe Newt could be our martyr, our distractor, so that everyone else can escape. 1,207 zombies. They've caught onto Rednax. Rednax. Rednax is incapable of violence. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think he's going to make it. Just ignore them. F fight through the pain. Come on. You're going to be the savior of this colony. Please. Please, Rednax. Come on. I believe. I believe. F's in chat. He can do it. He can do it. Cl clear us a way through. Oh, he's done it. Okay, run. Just haul ass. Get out of here. Save yourself. Save yourself, Rednax. He can tend to himself as well, so you might actually be able to stop the infection. Get him out of here. Uh, world map? Where are we? I, I don't think I've even checked the world map ever. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Um, form caravan. Rednax, 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 Rednax. Rednax is now... Choose route. Straight out the north of the city. Boom. Choose route. Accept. Go. Perfect. Rednax, who cares if he hasn't got any food? Just leave. If we send him near the edge, he should... No, it's not. People... I remember people lying to me about that. You don't need to do anything. Forming... Consuming simple meal? No. Just leave. Why can't we ever prioritize them just leaving? Get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm so annoyed at RimWorld. Is this going to be enough? Debatable. Very debatable. I mean, look at all three of them against what, like, a zombie at a time. This could work. But I think they're just going to have, they're just going to break down before we can do it. I think they're all just going to break down before we can. Oh, they're distracted by the corpse, though. You know what I'm thinking? I think we make a fucking break for it. Where can we go, though? Because forming the caravan is so difficult to do because they just, they just fucking, like this guy just wandered into a horde. Um, maybe we should just hold out. Maybe we should just fight to the last man. Fight to the last man. No, we're not cowards. We're not cowards. It's our home. It's our base. Oh, that's really bad. Rex Buckley is on a daze. Rednax is obviously gone. Tallahassee on a food binge there. Tallahassee, what the hell are you doing? Also, where's the guy that... Oh, no. Where's the guy that couldn't walk? Um, not having a good day. Not having a good day might be the best way to uh, to describe it. D depressed. No shit. Why are they not eating him? They've bitten off his jaw? Oh, God, they started by ripping off his jaw? Right pinky is gone. Left shoulder's been bitten off. Left leg. Oh, no. Well, if he couldn't walk before, I almost certainly can't walk now. Who was that that just pissed off? Tallahassee, where are you going? Melee attack. No, 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 no. They're, they're trying to hunt down targets that are completely on the other side. Right, there you go. Uh, what's he doing now, then? Drinking water. Fine. You know what? The, the line is holding. 
The line is actually surprisingly holding here. I have no idea how the fuck we're managing it. Rex Buckley has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. What else can he do? He can't fight any longer. He's been fighting for a day solid now. What was it? Was it the, the 10th at 9 p.m.? It's, so they've only been fighting 18 hours or 12 hours or however long it's been right now. So not super impressive. Tallahassee has decided to go and get his gun reloaded and just glow everyone. If you get to the front lines of that, that actually might work. Please don't shoot our people. Newt is gone. Newt is gone. Long live Newt. Another loss to the... Newt was already infected. Travis Trash still being devoured there. Green is down. Dead Nice Tina is down. I think... Rex Buckley, what the fuck? <laughs> Just sleeping. Just sleeping on the floor. Rex. Can we get Rex out of here? Rex was always my favourite. I mean, I think Rex was probably everyone's favourite, right? He's the guy that saved this colony. Maybe he could just sneak out. They never need to know. He could just sneak out and piss off. Right, Rex, we're getting you out of here. <laughs> we're getting you out of here, Rex Buckley. You are a coward. They might not be, but you are, my man. Right, watch the zombies. Watch the zombies. Avoid them. Avoid. Avoid. Keep going. Never stop. Never look back. Never turn around. Never stop running. Green is gone. Green is gone. Did the door come down and then they got through? No, he's just been he's just been devoured. Right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Rex, get it gone. Oh my god, we actually might do it. We actually might get Rex Buckley out of here. Right, here's what we should do. We should form a caravan now. We should form a caravan now while he's out of here. You've still got to bear in mind these zombies are horribly powerful and they're a black hive now to worry about. So it's not as if we're, we've got a clean a clean escape here. Rex Buckley, boom. Don't worry about items. Just get the fuck, just get out. Just get out. No, no, no. What? <laughs> it's waypoints. Help me. No, no, no. Right, choose route. Here. Choose route. Accept. Boom. Back to the world. Where is Rex? Go, Rex Buckley, go. <gasps> That's good. There, were, there was a Twinkie there we could have uh, we, could, we could have taken him with. Is he going to get out of here alive? Form the caravan moving. Wandering. Moving. <gasps> Come on. Go, Rex Buckley. Rex Buckley, what the fuck? No, no, no. Ignore, 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 ignore. Go. Just leave. Just leave, Rex. Go. Get out of here. Let the zombies fight the insect. <gasps> He's gone. <laughs> Guess who's coming back for next series, boys? Rex Buckley. Ultimate coward. It's just the three men in their power armor, and I, I genuinely think it's just too strong. It's uncrackable. Frank North on a food binge. Frank North might get eaten here. I don't know how the zombies react to armored enemies. Are they able to get through his armor? Wait, Frank North died? How did he die? That explains why it's not working. How did, how did Frank North even die? I thought he just collapsed. Maybe he actually did just die of... You know what? He probably did die of dehydration there. They've got him. They've knocked him down. They're just going to pile on now, I assume. He's gone. He's gone. He's been eaten. He, they actually managed to get through somehow. God knows how, but they actually did get him. Maybe it's just after he's been eaten for a significant amount of time. He's, he's just uh, he's just devoured at that stage. Wow. That looks like it's going to be the end. The mighty Tallahassee felled at last. All it took was a single zombie. He actually got it, though. Did they actually get through the armor in the end? Is his armor, like, super damaged or something? I mean, it quite, quite clearly is. A oh, he's gone. Wow. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Wow, that was... um. I think a pretty, I think that was a suitable end for the colony. I think we have kind of basically what we were all expecting. My god, look at the rage zombies kicking around now, though. Unbelievable. Rex Buckley, supreme coward, but survivor. Managed to escape, returning for next series, where we'll have much more powerful, much more ragey, much more dangerous zombies this time around. No building giant bases with gigantic walls making it way too easy. We, we, I want to be afraid of them, and I want you guys to be afraid of them, and I want the colonists to be afraid of them. And I think at that stage, we'll have done something brilliant. Thank you everyone for watching. I don't have my Patreon list, because it is the first of the month, so for those of you who have been here a while, you'll know that this is when Patreon redo their list, and to be fair, they're doing it very quickly this month, so hopefully by tomorrow we should have some brand new, very fancy, very sparkling Patreon list, but thank you to everyone who has supported the channel, thank you to everyone who's decided to continue supporting the channel, much appreciated. Series 3, uh, Series B for CK2, the third daily series is going to be starting again very, very soon, probably over the course of next week sometime, so keep a close eye out for that one. RimWorld will be coming back tomorrow in a new form with some different mods. I want to I wanna change things up a little bit. Combat extended. Yeah, can't remember why we stopped playing with it now, huh? If you've got any suggestions, go over to the Discord, leave a comment here. Doesn't matter where. Send me a message. Find a way to get in communications. Make sure I've noticed it. And I will uh, I'll take on any considerations for mod list, mods, configurations, whatever you've got into next series. It won't be too radically different from this one in terms of the model list but there are certain things i definitely want to them there are certain things i definitely want to remove this time around so hope you guys have enjoyed this it sort of got a little bit stale there to the end but that's my own sort of fault by over expecting too much and the, the planet killer sort of putting unnecessary pressure on things next time we're going to keep our three starting guys alive and they're going to be safe and sensible and i'll see you all then